Hi everyone, welcome to our uh, noontime prayer meeting. With me is Venice and Elijah. How are you guys keeping up? Oh, I'm okay. good. Uh, what are you guys doing? Kau ka Venice, anong pang ginagawa mo? Ano lang ko yan, nagdadal ko na ko pila. Saka minsan yung grocery sa labas, pagkailangan. Konti na lang, konti na lang. How about you, Elijah? How are you doing? Uh, well, online classes haven't been um, suspended for for oh. me for us. Oh, okay. But I, try to keep my, but I have to keep myself busy. I make sure I get something done at the end of the day. Yeah. All right. Wow. Good. Good. All right. Uh, to all of you who are uh, with us. Thank you for joining us once again. And today we're gonna pray for the young people, of course, close to our hearts. And um, before we do that, I want to uh, read a passage in um, 2 Kings chapter 22, verses 1 to 2. It says here, Josiah was eight years old when he began to reign, and he reigned 31 years in Jerusalem. His mother's name was uh, Jedidiah, the daughter of Adiah of Bosca. In verse 2, it says, And he did what was right in the eyes of the Lord and walked in all the way of David his father, and he did not turn aside to the right or to the left. You know, this guy is amazing. I mean, eight years old, can you imagine he's already a king, he's already leading his country, leading his nation. And of course, he has no choice because he's part of the royal family. But nonetheless, uh, eight years old, I mean, I, my son, you know, my son, right, so Lucas, is turning eight in few days' time. And I can't leave him and trust him to make breakfast more so lead a country, you know? But this guy, I mean, eight years old, is already uh, a, said to be a king. Now, uh, Josiah is said to be one of the, uh, I think, the last godly king uh, Judah had. And he did a lot of uh, national transformation. I mean, did a lot of programs to revive uh, godliness in his country. So many reformations that he did. One of the few things that I wrote and, uh, that I wrote and, that I I'm not sure what I wrote and, <laughs> that I wrote here is uh, um, yung mga things that ginawa niya is that he removed the pagan idols. He uh, forbid mga sacrificial system to avoid pagan idols in the sacrifice. Pinarbid niya, pinagbawal niya na yung sacrificial system ng sons and do- sons or daughters to to pagan gods. Grabe, di ba? They would, they would, they would, they would become that evil. So, uh, Josiah purged the evil in the hearts of, I mean, his country. However, it is did not last that long. Because he was unable yeah. to purge the heart of the, the you know the evil evil in the hearts of his countrymen, although he removed all these um, you know in his influence, the nandar niya yung mga mga evil places, mga pagan idol worships and altars. He was unable to purge the evil in the hearts of men. That's why they continued on and. Sad to say, his reformation did not last because, of, obviously, um, the sin of the hearts of men. And he died in battle. Uh, now this guy is so bold, courageous, and godly. Uh, three things that I note on his uh, leadership, and I think parents and young people can lean on, young people like us yeah, can learn from here. <laughs> First thing that happened to him is that I think for parents it's very important that we raise him, we raise our children as leaders. You know this guy, although because they already know he was born in the royal family, his father is king, they already know, and so they did not waste time to ready this child to be, uh, you know, to lead. So I'm sure his routines are different from all other kids. He was developed as leader. And I think very important for us parents, our, ako nga na, paisip na ako how, what, what parenting style or adjustments of my style I need to make because, you know, our kids today, as, uh, as you all know, I mean, they're, they're, they're even unable to make breakfast for us. No? But uh, kidding aside, I'm just saying that 
as parents, I think very important that we look at ch our children as leaders and develop them and prepare them. That entails loving discipline, you know, uh, helping them have self-control, developing them to have self-control, putting godly values in them. And so those are the three things, or well, first thing that I note in the life of Josiah. Also, another thing is I believe his parents uh, surrounded him with godly influences. I think that's very important. There are godly influences that you surround to your kids. Uh, very important. And I think young people like you, Elijah, you know, I'm sure you would agree with me that very important. You have to surround yourself mm -hmm. with godly friends, godly influences. And third thing is that he, although these godly influences, in fact, indeed influence him in, in a lot of ways, I think that also translated to his personal desire to honor God and to follow his ways. Because mm. even naman meron kang godly influences, even though your parents, you know, really deposit a lot, unless let's say there's a deep desire for you to uh, to honor God and to follow his way, then those all all those things will all, will remain, you know, just a hidden knowledge. I think those are the three things that I I feel like want to share with all of you parents alike and young people. And so I hope that we'll be able to raise up godly leaders, the next generation. And so we'll take time to pray for the next generation, of course, for families as well. But let me just pray for, for the word. Lord, thank you for your word for all of us. I pray that you will continue to plant deep in our hearts the word of God. I pray that that word and the faith that you have started in our lives, Lord God, will the, the, the righteousness that you've started in our lives, Lord, will continue to multiply even to the generations to come. And so, God, we lift them up to you. Thank you for your word for all of us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And so, at this point, we're going to pray, uh, Vinice and Elijah, we're going to pray, and of course, all of you who are listening and tuning in, we're going to pray for two items. First is going to pray for the families, pray for the faith of young people, of course, and the families as well. Uh, also, we're going to pray for the campus missionaries. And so, uh, Denise, uh, we'll give them time to pray for item number one. And so, we have about, I think, one minute, and then Denise will pray. Let's pray. So, fathers, gather your family and pray. If you're alone, you know, intercede with us. So let's pray for our young people, for their faith and their families. Lord, thank you, God, for your people, Lord God, that you've called Lord, in this generation, Lord. I pray that may you have that um, moment, Lord God, that they will encounter you. They will took time, Lord God, to have long, um, quiet time, devotions, Lord God, really hearing for you, Lord God. And um, be an intercessor, Lord God, in this in this um, needs, Lord God, of calamity, Lord. I pray for divine encounters, Lord God, that no idleness, Lord God, will stop them na uh, mag-continue lang sa pag-browse sa internet, but they will pause, Lord God, they will end everything, Lord God, just to listen to your voice, Lord God, and make time to read your scripture, even things that will, they will um, have an encounter, Lord God, with you. I pray for um, greater revelation, Lord God, and even bonding for for parents and children, Lord, that they will um, make the most of every moment with with their parents, Lord God, that they will create memories with them, Lord. I also pray for their conviction, Lord God, that be um, guided, Lord God, and rooted with your word, Lord God, that even in, the, even in this season, Lord God, that 
um, somehow, yung mga times na gusto na nila mag-grant their God, I pray that may you um, give them the wisdom their God, not to speak their God and God, but they will know how to respond accordingly their God. That will, will enable them, Lord, to continue to honor you in everything that they do, Lord. And also, I pray for creative juices, their God, to our young people, their God, that how they can worship you at home how they will able to maximize this time, their God, to be a blessing to their family, their God. Thank you, God, and just make me pray. Amen. Amen. We're going to pray for uh, item number two. We'll take time to pray for our campus missionaries, and sila Vini, sila uh, Enrico, and the rest of the gang. Uh, let's take time to pray for them to have uh, greater opportunities and of course for provision for our missionaries and so we'll have one minute so once again for you fathers please uh, pray with your family members and those of you who are all by themselves I hope that you uh, pray and lift up our campus missionaries so we have one minute to do that So let's pray for our campus missionaries. Uh, God, thank you for uh, these ates and kuyas that you've placed before us. Um, thank you, Lord, because of uh, bringing them out of the, the crowd and just um, allowing them to step into this um, calling that you've given them. Lord, um, Thank you, Lord, because uh, you know I'm one of the people who are really blessed by what they what they've invested and what they've given and their their courage to to just um, step out into step out in faith, Lord God. Uh, so, Lord, I just really take this time to thank you, Lord, for bringing these people into my life, Lord, and for for bringing them into. You know, the lives of other students, Lord. Thank you, Lord, because you're using them to be such a blessing to so many other people. Lord, thank you, Lord, um, because even at this time where uh, it's full of worry and confusion, Lord, we can we can always go back to you, Lord, to, to lead us and guide us, Lord. So I pray, Lord, for um, our campus missionaries, Lord, who want to reach out even at this moment lord i pray lord that these uh you would turn these moments into opportunities for them lord to to share your word and and really even encourage um people to strengthen um the next generation lord to comfort those who need it at this time lord thank you lord because when you have um called them Lord, it is you who will give everything, Lord, for, for, for your plans to be fulfilled. Lord, so thank you, Lord, because uh, when it comes to, to ideas, um, creativity, plans, Lord, you already have them. Lord, thank you, Lord, because they can just go to you, Lord God, and, and you will be the one to lead them, Lord God, even for, for their provision, Lord, even for um, what they need for this journey. Lord, thank you, Lord, because uh, you already you already have that in store for them. Lord, that they just have to walk with you and step into those blessings, Lord God. Thank you, Lord, because it is you who will um, 
protect them, who will cover them, and it is you who will instruct them, Lord. It is you who will um, bring all of this, Lord God, into your light and your 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 promises, Lord God. Thank you, Lord, for our campus missionaries and what they're doing. We are grateful. In Jesus' name, amen. Uh, to all of you who have participated, let to thank all of you. Uh, we're grateful for, to God for all of you, and we really, really, really hope to see you so, so, so soon. We miss you all, guys. Thank you. May you continue to live a blessed life despite of these uh, difficulties. And I pray that for those of you who will continue to persevere and to be strong in the Lord. God bless you all. We'll see you again on our uh, devotions and our weekend services. God bless you.